Hey, today we're going to talk about neuro growth factors. So we've been talking about our thoughts yesterday. Today is neuro growth factors because you've heard when things wire together, they fire together. You've heard that. And now we have neuro growth factors is the big word for today. So when we want to change our habits, change our thoughts, besides sitting there and going, oh, I hope I change this and I don't react and I'm not gonna lean in and react to everything. How do we go about doing it? What we need to do is find a place, hopefully out in nature, outside, or a quiet place inside, just closing your eyes, and just relaxing. And this relaxes the frontal lobe. This is the command center of what's going on for you. And once you're in a relaxed state, you're not pinging here and pinging there, you want to mentally rehearse how you would like to live your life. Like, um, <laughs> enjoy. <laughs> Uh, I talk about training your brain like training your dog because <laughs> I have to teach him how to sit and have to stay and how have to come and we have to practice that every day we have to practice that a few times every day and when we don't practice it every day the dog's not disobedient I haven't trained him same as our brain so back to calming your brain down we want to remove those columns of like anger and upsetness, those neuro networks that are wiring and firing together. And we want to come into a nice relaxed state with our eyes closed. We want to visualize being at peace, whatever you want to visualize. I'll just use the example of being at peace and calm. Maybe visualize like you're at a river, the water flowing by. But you have to do this. If I don't want this dog to mess up, do I need to do this once for a minute with him? No, I have to work with him a few times a day for at least five minutes to have him be a good dog. Yeah. And so you'll need to find a calm, relaxing place and visualize that river and the peace. And I'm sorry. I have to tell you about the science, the biology behind it. You know how we're into repurposing and going to Habitat for Humanity for cool stuff. What happens with your neuro networks, they repurpose themselves when they're not firing in that anger mode or that upset mode. They're sitting there going, I want to be repurposed. They're like hanging out at Habitat for Humanity and they want to get picked up and reused. And what's happening when you're training your brain to be peaceful and to be calm and taking that five minutes a few times a day to sit and work with your dog or your brain and train your brain, those neural networks are rewiring. They're rewiring into beautiful, calm, peaceful, columns yeah isn't that fascinating that's the biology behind what you're doing when you're sitting there and i i'm glad he misbehaved and i had to hold him up here it's just the same as training your pet training your children you don't want to be yelling and don't do this don't do that just teaching them how to yell they'll do whatever you tell them you know you yell i yell I'm at peace, you're at peace. And you just sit and you rewire your entire beautiful network and you're recycling those same neuro networks. That's enough for today. I wanna to get back to some of the more science behind everything. That's what I really find exciting. But it's practice and it's training to make them a good brain and a good dog. <laughs> Have a great day, see you tomorrow.